So we're here in beautiful Colorado looking in front of the uh, pinion pine, also known as Pinus edilis. This tree can be found in the ecosystem with the junipers and pinions. This plant has moderately stout needles that are one to two inches long. Needles arise in pairs from a papery sheath, which we call bundles. The needles are also slightly curved and pointed at the tip, as you can see here. These short green needles have little white ridges on the back of the inner and outer surfaces. Needles stay on the tree for three to nine years. The cones are ball-like, one to two inches long, and broad when closed. They are first at green, depending on what time of the year you're looking at them, and they ripen to a yellow buff color, with only a small number of thick, fertile scales. The cones open to about two, two and a half inches when mature, holding the seeds on a scale after opening. The seeds are about a half an inch long with a thin shell. The bark of the pinion pine is reddish brown with a scaly to rough texture. We'll scrape off some right here so you guys can see that red texture that we're talking about. Pinions grow to be about 15 to 30 feet at full maturity. The grow shape is typically rounded to irregular. Pinion pines are native to our region and are great use as a zero scape option. They are used for firewood and sometimes fence planks. When planting a landscape with pinions, be sure to leave lots of space between them. They have a very large root system and don't like being irrigated often, so don't plant them in your lawn area. This tree's survival is dependent on pinion jays and Clark's nutcracker. The birds cache large quantities of these seeds throughout the forest. Disease and insects, uh, this tree sometimes will get the black stain root disease, dwarf mistletoe, pinion borer, ips, tip moth, nodule moth, and needle scale. Pinion nuts are edible for people and animals. There is a market actually for these nuts. Thank you.